for this video, we are going to discuss about taping. First and foremost, uh, taping is just one know, of the many methods on uh, measuring horizontal distance. Okay, so tapes are used in surveying to measure horizontal, vertical, and slope distances. They may be made of a ribbon or a band of steel, an alloy of steel, cloth reinforced with metal, or synthetic materials. Tapes are issued in various lengths and widths and graduated in a variety of ways. Okay, there are several types of tapes used in surveying. The first one, we call it the linen tape. Linen tape is also known as cloth tape. Okay, it's, it's a varnish strip made of closely woven linen. The width of the strip is about 12 to 16 millimeters. It is available in different lengths such as 10 meters, 20 meters, 30 meters, and 50 meters. Both ends of the linen tape are provided with metallic handles and the whole tape is wounded in leather or metal case. Linen tapes are light in weight and easy to handle. These tapes may shrink when exposed to water and also elongate when pulled. Hence, these tapes are not suitable for accurate surveying measurements. These are generally used for plumbing offsets and for ordinary works. Another type of tape is the steel tape okay so a steel tape is made of steel or stainless steel okay it consists of a steel strip of 6 mm to 16 mm wide it is also available in lengths of 1 meter 5 meters 8 meters 10 meters 20 30 and 50 meters Meters, decimeters, and centimeters are graduated in the steel strip. Steel tapes generally came up with a metal case uh, with automatic winding device. The tape is withdrawn from the case by using a hand during measuring and is rewound into the case by just pressing the button provided on the case. Steel tapes are not flexible and are suitable for measuring level surfaces only. Uh, they may corrode easily when exposed to moisture and to prevent this tape, it should be cleaned and oiled after every use. These tapes are generally used for standardizing chains, measurement of construction works, and others. Another type of tape is the synthetic tape. Okay. Uh, synthetic tapes are made of glass fibers okay? so this is these are also called uh, glass fiber tapes okay coated with PVC these are light in weight and flexible they are available in lengths of 5 meters 10 meters 20 meters 30 meters and 50 meters synthetic tapes may stretch when subjected to tension Hence, these are not suitable for accurate surveying works. However, synthetic tapes are recommended in place of steel tapes when it is essential to take measurements in the vicinity of electric fences and the railway lines. Okay. And lastly, uh, the type of tape used in surveying is what we call the invar tape. Okay. Invar tapes are made of an alloy which consists of 36% of nickel and 64% of steel. Invar tape contains a 6 mm wide strip and is available in different lengths of 30 meters, 50 meters, and 100 meters. The coefficient of thermal expansion of invar alloy is very low. It is not affected by changes in temperature. Hence, these tapes are used for high precision works in surveying, such as baseline measurement, triangulation surveys, and others. Invar tapes are expensive than all the other types of tapes. These tapes should be handled with care, otherwise bends or kinks may be formed.
Okay, so another type of tape that is not uh, mentioned here is the low bar. Okay, the low bar tape. Okay, the spelling for low bar is yes, okay. a low bar tape is a tape with a characteristic between the in bar tape and the steel tape. It's also used for some uh, surveying uh, works. Okay. So let us discuss accessories naman, ano, for in taping. Okay, first one, we have the chaining pins. Okay, so chaining pins are Okay, so chaining pins sometimes called tapping pins or taping pins. Okay. These are used to mark tape lengths. Okay? So most taping pins are made of number 12 steel wire. It's sharply pointed on one end and have a round loop at the other end and are painted with alternate red and white bands as you can see in the figure. Okay, so sets of 11 pins carried on a steel ring are standard. Okay, so next one we have a hand level. Okay, a hand level is a simple instrument used to keep the tape ends at equal elevations when observing over rough terrain. Okay. Another one we have the tension handles. Okay, so tension handles facilitate the application of a desired standard or known tension. A complete unit consists of a wire handle a clip to fit the ring end of the tape and a spring balance reading up to uh, 30 pounds maybe to one half pounds graduation okay. and then we also need pocket thermometer no? a pocket thermometer permits reading data for making temperature correction later on we will talk about correction due to temperature okay because uh, the the data we gather from our, from the field is not the final data that we use in the uh, in solving and or in in finalizing for the surveying works. We need to apply some corrections, which we will do you know, after uh, later on. Okay. So we also need range poles. You know? So range poles made of. Uh, uh, sometimes wood, sometimes steel, sometimes aluminum. These are about one inch uh, thick and six to ten feet long. They are round or hexagonal in cross section and marked with alternate one foot long red and white bands that can be used for rough measurement. The main utility of range pole is to mark the line being measured so that the tape's alignment can be maintained. And finally, uh, in taping, we also need plumb bobs. Uh, basically, plumb bobs in taping should weigh a minimum of 8 oz and have a fine point. Okay? However, most surveyors uh, use uh, a little bit uh, heavier for stability reasons. Okay? Uh, the points of most plumb bobs are removable which facilitates replacement if they become dull or broken. The string can be worn on a string spring-loaded drill that is useful for rough targeting. However, in taping, it is best to not use a reel. So these are the different accessories that we use in taping.